my friends and welcome back to Mass Effect. In yesterday's video, we wrapped up our missions on Vermeer and came back to the Citadel, only now we're stuck here because our ambassador is a jerk and that's me being nice about it. So the quest we're currently on is Race Against Time Sovereign and it says that we've discovered that the real enemy is not Saren, but a reaper called Sovereign, who no one believes us about, and by no one I mean the council, even though we've been right about everything so far, but whatever. A sapient worship of tremendous power. Sovereign is using Saren as a tool to find the conduit, the key to unleashing a new reaper invasion on the galaxy. And our latest update was that we needed to meet with Anderson. Captain Anderson is waiting for you in the wards at Flux. He may be able to help you get off the Citadel, which would be useful because we're stuck here. But I stayed here because there is a mechanic here to talk to. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Yeah, our, our amazing ambassador who's a total jerk. It's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. What else am I going to do at this point? But we also need to go shopping, and I feel like there was something else I needed to do. I had no codex entries to In update. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Well, it's not going to be a singular case if the Reapers get to invade. I'm just pointing this out, but again, no one believes me because I'm not politically viable or something or useful anymore. Requisitions office is where we need to go. I think you guys said that now after Vermeer, I should be able to buy shiny things from this requisition officer here. Hello, Commander. I need supplies. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Thank you. So let's see. Assault rifle, let's compare. Ooh, it does do more damage. That's nice. Do we have... Armor is a lot nicer now. Heavy armor. Only nice armor that I have is medium armor. That's... Uh, disappointing. Oh, heavy armor. No, that's six scorpions still. Arm. That's biotic amp. Well, let's get the assault rifle at least. That's heat sink capacity is lower. Accuracy rating is better, but damage per second is also better. And I've got the money. I may as well spend it. So let's accept and buy it. And then I'm disappointed. I wanted to buy armor for my companions at least. Let's look at this here. So assault rifle, what did I just buy? <laughs> I can't even remember what I just bought. Let me see. Ah, here we go. The HMWAX. So let's equip that. Yep. I mean, it's black. I I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. It matches my uniform better. <laughs> okay, so let's head out here to the fast travel point and go to the wards. I feel like there was a fast travel point near Flux. There is. You have arrived at Flex Nightclub in the wards. Elias Keeler? You're new, right? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Okay, I'm listening. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Yeah, um, why don't you cut the act and just get to the point? Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. For, I'm assuming this is for your own personal usage. Well, the drug. What exactly is this stimulant? 
oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Drug dosage? If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. What's wrong with your assistant? Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse. He's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. I don't really feel like that's how that works, but... <laughs> the negotiation? Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Mm. Well, did I already ask is all your this? Assistant Worse. <sighs> my no race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. I mean, you, you do sound like you're addicted. I'm leaving, but no... Pro uh, look, I'll, I'll see what I can do. No promises. I'll see what I can do, but I can't guarantee anything. I understand. I'll pay you back for it. And I can even throw in a little extra. Thanks for your help. Like I said, you can find the stimulant over in the med bay. You are kind of tweaked out, dude. So Citadel Negotiator's request. Mr. Keeler, an Alliance Negotiator, has asked you to give him a legal but regulated stimulant in order to improve his performance in an important upcoming treaty negotiation. Go to the medical clinic in the upper wards and purchase the drug that Keeler needs to needs for his treaty negotiation. Oh, I mean, like, that's, that's fine. I can do that, I think. Should not be that big of a deal. There's a Rita. Oh, let's go dancing with Doran. <laughs> I like how Garrus and Ashley are just standing there, <laughs> not even doing anything. Oh, there's, there's Anderson. Hi, Rita. Commander, thanks again for all your help. You're welcome. Sorry, Anderson. I just want to see if there's anybody else here I can talk to. Bouncer, patron, Jenna. Hey there. Welcome to Flex. Go gambling some more. I feel like I'm good on cash for like a long time. Okay, Anderson, now we'll chat. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. Yeah, now I know how you felt. Udina sold me out. You could have helped me. Now, I think now we know how we felt because we've been backstabbed by our own ambassador. They pulled me off the mission, just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. Yeah, it's it's not that simple. How and forget it, but how am I going to get off the Citadel? There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What happens to you? Yeah, is he going to be left holding the bag? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. <laughs> and if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. I feel like I should be slightly concerned when my when my words and Shepard's words end up being exactly the same or same-ish. But anyway, I explained that poorly as usual. But anyway, what about my crew? Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy is your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Well, we certainly hope so, but thank you. Uh, tell me what to do and you're right. Now, I'm just going to thank him for his help. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I won't. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Are there any other options? It does sound kind of dangerous for you. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. 
He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be here. <laughs> if he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Uh, huh. I think it's probably, I think you would survive better if you broke into Adina's office. The other people might shoot you. <laughs> so maybe you should break into his office. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. Yeah. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Uh, not, not yet, just yet. I have a quest I need to do first. I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> do I have an update to my main quest now? No, not yet. All right, let's go buy this stimulant for... What's his name? Elias Keeler. I mean, like, this guy, it's fine. I I don't think you need to be as, you know, medicated as you think, but it's... Whatever, it's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. I, I keep saying that a lot today. So, medical clinic... And then let's talk to Dr. Chloe. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor. How did you? My I chose to keep the medical tradition. Let me take a look at of what. Of course. You're... All right, armor upgrades, unique item, depressant. Eximo is a non-addictive narcotic used to treat stress in humans. It's often prescribed to executives and government officials who tend to overwork. Or a medical stimulant, Vitalicit, is a complex synthetic chemical that improves short-term memory and mental focus in humans. This is, a, this is the mental stimulant that Elias asked you for. We could give him a depressant and screw him over, too, at the same time. Um, Metagel upgrade, I think we'll buy that. And then we'll buy the stimulant, it's fine. Let's just play it out normally and see how it all pans out in the end <laughs> hopefully he doesn't like overdose and die because that would that would not be a good ending or locations to flux fast travel so great uh, any luck getting what i asked for yeah i have your stimulant here's the drug you asked for perfect the Solarians will never see me coming. Here, this is for your trouble. Thanks for your help. I won't trouble you again. I, oh, I hope you don't die. <laughs> I hope you don't die. So you got Mr. Keeler the drug he needed. He should be in line, in fine form rather, for the upcoming treaty negotiation. All right, well, I want to go talk to Anderson, but I kind of want to poke around uh, the Citadel to see if there's anybody else here that's new and any other new additional side quests there might be. So I'm going to go a wandering for a minute and bring you back in should I run into anyone. And if not, I'll meet you back here at Flux and we'll talk to Captain Anderson. Excuse me, you're the Spectre, right? Yeah, who are you? Charles Saracino. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Um, thank you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saracino of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Um, I'm sorry, what? Armistice Day? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Uh, the appeasers are right. Earth must walk alone. Then you learn... Uh, yeah, I don't think you learned anything from the war, maybe? I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Yeah. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? We should, but you're looking for a reason. I disagree. We have a backlog of grievances the aliens have ignored, starting with Shanxi. Were you at Shanxi? If not, shut your pie hole. Secure that ease down. Well, let's ease down, Williams, a minute. Let it. Let. Yeah. It's not worth getting angry over, Chief. Right. 
I read you, Skipper. Election? What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. Yeah, but I don't want to be a politician. Terra Firma? I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a noble goal. Too bad so many of your supporters are just racists. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views, but our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. I mean, like, oh, this is, this is very complicated. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's no excuse to kind of come off as racist towards aliens because like after the first contact war, it seems like they have been helpful and we do kind of, we all live in the same universe, galaxy, whatnot. Like we can't just go it alone. That's not gonna end well for us. But you don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. There we go. Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. Um, the appeasers are right. I don't think they're appeasers. I feel like that's the wrong word. Maybe that's why it's in quotes. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shan Shi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. No. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. Uh, I I don't think I'm going to support you. You kind of rub me the wrong way, but Shang Zi? The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. Yeah, I'm not going to support you. I I I don't kind of like you. <laughs> you have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect. I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Remember Shanxi! That's a nice way of putting nope. it. You know, he's allowed his opinion, Shepard's allowed her opinion, then they don't have to go at each other's throats to, like, you know understand the process. But anyway, Citadel, our own worst enemy. Charles Saracino of the Terraformer Party approached you on the Citadel seeking support in the next election. You declined. I did decline. I mean, like, I don't, I don't Blood think my shepherd aliens. would, would, uh, want to support them. Earth Me? first! Terra firma. I gotta say, it's a pretty small protest, but that just could be the game, you know, limitations. But anyway, I'm going to continue poking around the Citadel Daddy and Peter's we'll out. bring you back in if something happens or meet you back up at Captain Daddy Anderson. Well, we are back up in flux and Garrus hummed when we came up here. So let's see if he has anything new to say. You almost never see any keepers in this club. I guess they don't care what happens here. That or the music keeps them away. Or it's not advantageous to the Reapers to be here. I don't, anyway. So let's quick save and talk to Anderson. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I have re-explored the Citadel and only found that one interaction, so I think we are, well, those two interactions, and I think we're ready to go now. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Okay. So our next update is go to Ilos. Use the Mew Relay to go to Ilos and stop Saren before he uses a conduit to unleash a Reaper invasion on the galaxy. I, I need to do that, but I kind of want to go back to the uh, system that I was in and that didn't get to finish exploring for Vermeer. So we may do that first. <laughs> it won't take too terribly long. Just a quick little like few planets to look over. I don't need to go there. I need to go here. Presidium. And wards, no, Citadel, no, oh, it's in, of course I clicked on the wrong button. <laughs> I don't need to go to the consort again. I need to go to, here it is. I need to go, ward locations. 
And then C-Sec. There we go. And now I need to find the right elevator. To Presidium. Now I need the elevator here to the docking bay. Exogeny Corp recently released an official statement regarding their missing survey team in the Hades Gamma Cluster. According to the statement, the remains of the survey team were discovered not far from their abandoned research camp. There were no survivors. It is believed the researchers were the victims of a random attack by raiders or mercenaries. Names will be released after next of kin are notified. I feel like that's a lie. Pretty sure it is. I can't remember what happened to the Exogeny people in the Hades Gamma Cluster, but pretty, pretty, pretty sure that was a lie. Okay, let's save again. Head back to the Normandy. Very, very, very slowly. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Anderson, what are you doing here? <laughs> I didn't send. <laughs> Go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. that it? We did it? I love that he punched him in the face. It was totally what I was hoping would happen. Oh, it's excellent. Okay, let's uh, head to the galaxy map. So I need to go to Ilos, but I want to finish. I know it like it's very distracting and I was hoping I wouldn't have to do it, but like I want to finish looking at all the planets in Vermeer. Because we only had one system. We only should only have like two or three planets left to look at, but I want to look. I want to look just for my completionist sake. It'll take like two minutes. Maybe three. Okay, maybe like five. <laughs> but then I'll be done. Okay, so Vermeer was where I left off. So look, two planets left. So we had Chloroplon. Chloroplon is a relatively small hydrogen helium gas giant with a haze of methane in the upper atmosphere. Okay. And then our next one, our last one over here is Priscilla. Yeah, Priscilla is a terrestrial world so small it cannot retain even a trace atmosphere. The surface is frozen and composed of magnesium silicates with carbonaceous deposits. In the recent past, a pirate band from the Terminus system carved a message into the surface using ship-based laser weapons, because reasons? <laughs> In 100 meter wide Batarian sil syllabic, the message proclaims the military prowess and virility. <laughs> of one Captain Zay Zaysh. A smaller postscript alludes to the questionable parentage of all humans. I, I mean, like, okay, I guess, if that makes you feel better about yourself. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Totally worth the side trip. Okay, so Ilos is in the Pangea, Pangea Expanse. And the System Refuge? Or the Cluster Refuge? I forget which order it is. Cluster, Pangea, System Refuge. Maybe that's how that works. Okay, let's look at all the other planets first before we go to Ilo. So, Agatotin. Agatotin has a pressure cooker atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its scorching hot surface is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of gold. Surface gravity is comfortable at 1.5. Oh, standard G's. There are several areas of debris that might that may be the wreckage of downed Prothean aerostat colonies. Based on the size of the debris fields, a population of over 100,000 was likely. Okay. And then uh, I'm skipping over Ilos. So we have... Ooh, that's pretty. Zafi is a relatively small hydrogen and helium gas giant. There are several tenuous belts of debris in equatorial orbit. Spectral analysis of the material suggests artificial origin, perhaps the remains of a station's 
or of stations that once mined Zaffe for helium-3. I wonder if all of this like remnant stuff that they've been talking about for these two planets is Protheon related. So in the golden age of the Protheans, Ilos was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Reapers. Reapers known. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires presumably ignited by lightning strikes can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard Gs. Okay, well, let's land. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker. Drop us right on top of that bastard. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Oh, Kaden. There's so many people yelling. Oh, Kaden. Uh, we're going to bring Liara and. Hmm, I think we'll bring Liara and Tally this time. I don't know if I've had them together or had them both together on a mission. Those are the right words. Plus, Liara like, throws stuff all over the place and it's awesome. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Oh, I just realized. All three of us kind of match. Oh, it's totally cool. I'm totally keeping you three with me. All right, what's our quest update? Ilos, find the conduit. Saren and his troops have disappeared into a sealed bunker beneath the surface of Ilos, sealing the doors behind them. So what do I need to do? Override the security. You need to find a security control room to open the sealed doors leading to the underground archive. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Well, let's get started with all that. So where am I? Landing zone, elevator. Oop, it's not really where I meant to, thank you. Courtyard. Why I'm having so many problems today. Elevator. Okay, fine. We can't, whatever we're facing, we can't go through. So let's save after all of that. Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on. That's not my right weapon. We're near it. I forgot, you two like to shoot at walls. Come on. Um, hmm, there's 
one over here somewhere. Holy crap! Uh. Kelly go to. That guy's dead. Alright, somebody needs to come here and then here. Alright, those two are dead. There's somebody back over this way. Sorry, my game is a little laggy. I'm not sure what's going on today. Where is Tally? Are these the Protheans? Like tentacles coming out of their eyes. Uh, we, we seem to have lost a teammate. That's very strange. Um, hmm. There she is. Tally, where are you, why are you not coming with us? My people once tried to find this world. We'd hoped we could settle here, but we didn't know it would feel so unwelcome I never dreamed I would actually find Ilos oh wow uh, let me save and reload to get Tally to work all right now we seem to be working again but when I was loading I noticed that I have a codex entry and I feel like I need to read them as I go because um, I don't know what's gonna happen next or how quickly the game's gonna end because I feel like we're definitely an endgame, and I feel like you guys have even said so. But anyway, let's see what they have Theros to say about Ilos. Like the ancient human city of Troy, Ilos is a world known only through second-hand sources. References to Ilos have been found at several other Prothean ruins, though direct study of the world is unlikely to occur. Ilos lies in a remote area of the Terminus systems, only accessible by the legendary Mu Relay. 4,000 years ago, the Mu Relay was knocked out of position by a supernova and lost. Since then, Ilos and its cluster have been inaccessible. Occasionally, a university will organize an expedition to chart a route to Ilos using conventional FTL drive. These never get beyond the planning stages due to the distance and danger. The journey could take years or decades, passing through the hostile Terminus systems and dozens of unexplored systems. So I get that the Mew Relay is the only way to, quote, safely get to Ilos, but it says that it was knocked out of position. So even if it's not in the right position, it still gets you to Ilos? Is that what it's saying? And I understand, like, they didn't know where it was knocked to because of this supernova, but I would just think if it if the Mew Relay, like, its actual position was moved, then you shouldn't be able to get to Ilos, but apparently that's not how that works. A anything else? Oh, we do have more. Let's see. Terra Firma Party. Terra Firma is an alliance political party formed after the first contact war. Its policy agenda is based on the principle that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. This covers a variety of legislation. Recent activities by Terra Firma include opposition to a law requiring high school alien language study, a proposal to increase tariffs on alien imports, and leading a popular movement to mark the first contact war with a public holiday. Though founded by a well by well-meaning individuals who feared the submersion of native human cultures under a wave of alien vogue, Terra Firma's agenda attracts many jingoists and xenophobes. Yeah, I mean, like, I get it. I feel like it, it's just they have the ability to be so easily exploited for the bad instead of the good, which you could say about a lot of things, but not something I'm gonna worry about right now. Wow. 
But I do wonder, are these alien corpses? Like the Prothean corpses? I do have to... There's Tally. I was like, did Tally get lost again? All right, before I go down these stairs over here, actually it looks like it's a dead end. Holy crap, that's not a dead end. Uh, okay, we can always backtrack. All right, hang on. Uh, I need somebody here. And then somebody over here, maybe. Pop-ups happening. So it looks like it's a dead end. I thought it was, but maybe it's not. There was something up on the other level that I wanted to look at because there was an interactive point. Yeah, let's do that. Override. Not sure what that got me, but that's happening. I know we keep humming a lot, but that's just how it's going to be right now. So I went down that way, but there was something over here for me to interact with. So let me see what's going on there. Doesn't look like this one works. So this goes back down to where I was just at. So I think I have to go this way. Yeah, so I sorry about the jerkiness of the game. I'm not sure what's going on and there's not much I can really do about it. Got my, my frames are fine, so not sure what's happening, but it'll be okay, right? <laughs> okay, 
guessing there's probably just so much stuff that the game can't handle it right now. Oop. See little red dots. So where... This looks like it was a dead end over here. Let's double check. Yep. There's nothing over here. I mean, it's fine. It's a lot of red dots, though. things Liara I appreciate that <laughs> just makes it so much easier Am I all right down through here? It looks like there was an up there bit. Um, I don't think I get to go up there. More control. Here, um, I don't think that. I don't think that works. <laughs> The end of the world here. Post apocalyptic. Whoa! Ah, oh, dang it. Stupid engineers and your stupid things. Stupid stuff. check. All right, well, we're down to the backup elevator, it looks like. I love how we match. Tally still looks the coolest in her gear. She really does. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Okay, that should be easy, right? <laughs> okay, armature bay, security room. Didn't I deactivate all of them? And then another elevator security panel. Hopefully I deactivated them. I think the game's safe, but I'm going to do it again just in case. Oh dear. Jammed. Liara. 
seems, um, I've never seen them just rush at us before. Armature repair station, hard decryption. Uh oh. Are they gonna fight on my side now? Cause that'd be awesome. Let's do another one. Hi there. Anything else here to click on? I imagine there's probably more repair stations. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, well, I'm gonna take the opportunity to pause here for today because I'm not sure how much longer this is gonna go and I'm already at time. So tomorrow we'll try to make our way to this. We'll probably get to the panel, the elevator, and hopefully get through whatever bunker door we need to get through and go from there. But as always, so thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Mass Effect video.